All right, welcome back. So, uh, I got a new mic, and we're gonna do navigation meshes today. So, how the heavens do you do a navigation mesh? Um, unfortunately, we don't really have, or I haven't found anything in the Unigen uh, APIs about how to make your own navigation uh, mesh. So, uh, I could be wrong. But for now, let's just do it the old-fashioned way. And the old-fashioned way is, as you guessed it, using your own 3D uh, program. In my case, I'm using Blender. And what I did was very simple. I just created a plane, uh, shift A, plane. It was like 100 meter long. Then we just created a box. I gave them a different color just so we can see the differences. And the point is the box has to intersect through the plane. And then once you do like your own design, like for me, I got lazy, so this, this is my design and it's good enough. Uh, what we can do is then we can add a modifier into our plane, which what it does is a difference modifier with the Boolean and we just connect all that so now when you actually um, you know mute these you can see that there are holes in the mesh and um, other than that what we can do later is now we can just click on these and then press uh, Control a or apply and we're just gonna apply all of them once we applied all of them I'm gonna have no more use for these cubes you can keep them but I'll just uh, I'll just delete them. I don't really need them. And then when we go into the tab, you can see that we have um, a plane with a Boolean modifier and holes inside the uh, mesh. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to export it as an FBX. And I have this thing called Mesh Thingy. Uh, when you um, when you export, make sure the scale's one local. The forward is a Y and the Z is up and just press export and it's going to export into your uh, wherever the heavens you put it on. Now that we are here, I think I have it here, just in case if nobody knows how to do it, we just go into the desktop, uh, take the mesh thingy that we just made, just click and drag it, and then you come over here, just everything's already correct, front and up axis, we already fixed that in Blender, and we just press yes. And now we have a mesh thingy with this. Um, the next thing we're going to do is actually create it. So let's just right click in the world, create, go into navigation and navigation mesh. And then it's going to choose what mesh. We're going to go inside this mesh thingy.fbx, double click it, and then plain one dot mesh. And just click it in somewhere. We're going to do a zero, zero, zero. And we have this mesh. Now, uh, we can also go on helpers and we can click on this guy. So now that if we're not clicking the mesh, we can still be able to see it. And now, as you can see, our mesh is now a navigation center or a nav mesh, the way you call it. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go into our enemy. Uh, I did change a few things. So uh, let's just go through them in the AI header we created another property parameter which we're going to connect the nodes in uh, we have a new function called nav mesh check it's just laziness i changed the state to idle back again and then we added three new stuff or make that like uh, nine new stuff one is the navigation mesh pointer one is a path route pointer and one is a vector three points or like route points and then in the main code we added the nav uh, navigation mesh check in the init, so um, that that it initializes everything. We removed the rendering path for uh, that, so we don't get confused. And then I also muted everything inside our idle state. We just wanted to show the navigation mesh at the moment. I could have made a whole new function, but I'm lazy. So anyways, um, let's connect that. I made a new uh, player dummy, made it the main player, so we can see it from the world uh, view. So when we open it, we don't really have to touch anything, we can just see this whole thing play out. And if you play it right now, it's not going to show you anything because we didn't really set up anything. So let's go into our init and actually set up 
everything up. So first things first, we're gonna set up the, let's put it side by side. We got a few things we gotta set up. Now for these path points, we can actually just create like dummies. So let's just do that. We'll do like a node dummy. I'll put it inside here. I'm gonna give it a zero, zero, zero. And I'm gonna put it inside the nav mesh. Okay. And then for the nav mesh, um, or the node dummy, which we'll is call it path one, whatever. I'm gonna put this in a place I think is interesting. Let's see, somewhere here. Okay, the next one, I'm just gonna hold shift and move it to another place I think is interesting, probably here. Third place I think is interesting would be somewhere, uh, I guess, uh, I guess around here. Fourth place would be like here, or you get the idea, okay? So we'll do third one here, fourth one here, and then it goes back into number one. Let's make it a let's make it a, a circle. So we do that, and now we're we're just gonna put it inside the navigation mesh. So like when we um, let's just drag that navigation node right there. We can just call on its children, and since it's uh, in a line, it's not gonna do anything bad for us. Uh, all right, so. First thing we're going to do is actually connect our nav mesh and to do that we do the nav mesh let's just this so we can see it nav mesh equals to unigen static pointer cast and we can do navigation mesh and then we can choose the navigation node dot get All right, so that connects our nav mesh. And the reason why we're connecting is only so we can see it. Um, the next thing we can do is we can connect our points. So path points one, two, three, and four. Let's just click on one. Let's add it here. And let's just make a space so we know what we're doing. And we could say it is navigation node get child number zero and get its world position all right and we can just highlight this whole thing shift up and then just control c and then just press control v like four times and then change the numbers all right now our path points are connected or the pointings are connected the next thing we're going to do is actually use our path route pointers so this is going to be a point between 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, blah, blah, blah. And we're going to be using that. So let's just write it here. Pathing 1. So the first thing we're going to actually do is we're going to create it. So Unigen path route create. So that's the first thing we actually have to do. And let's just copy and paste this. All right. Now that we have created, what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, route inside our navigation uh, sector. Now, the whole point of nav sections or nav meshes is that it's supposed the route should already find out if there's a navigation mesh inside it or not. It will automatically find out once it's inside or not. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a 2D one. A 3D requires you to actually have like space. So if, if we said uh, depth to like 15 or something, or maybe, no, depth, sorry. Uh, height to like 50, right? So inside this area is gonna choose the best position. But since we didn't do that, we are not going to bother us and bother ourselves with it. So uh, let's just go back to one. All right, and let me just double check my points. Okay, so the points are pretty much cooled out. Let me just move it inside here, somewhere here. All right, so we got these points inside our little circle. It's at zero, which the nav mesh is in, so the points are definitely inside our navigation mesh. The next thing we're gonna do is actually just uh, a simple pathing one, right? And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create uh, 2d so we can just do an arrow and we're gonna say create 2d and then it's gonna ask for two points 
and we're gonna use uh, the path points that we just made. And I'm just gonna choose path point one, path point two. So now there's a connection between one and two. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this, two, three, four. And I'm gonna make a circular pattern. So four, and then this one's two, three, four. This one's three, four, and one. So it goes one, two, two, three, three, four, four, one. So now it makes a circle. All right, so that's all done within initialization. So we don't have to create it like over and over again. Now inside our idle, well, it's uh, pretty easy actually. Now that we have a nav mesh, right? We can just render the visualizer so we can see this. And that's the only reason why we have the nav mesh, honestly speaking. I don't really see any other reason for it, but that's one of the reasons why we have the nav mesh. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add an if statement. And we're just gonna do pathing one, right? Is reached. Now, the reason why we're doing this is it's actually trying to check whether it's in a nav mesh and the other point is in a nav mesh and whether they got the A star algorithm corrected or not. So then if it is corrected or they found a pathing, then we could just do a pathing one, render visualizer, and then it's gonna ask for a color. And we're just gonna give it a white color. All right, and let's just copy and paste this for the other one. So copy. All right, so now that we have our object, we can see that it chose the position to get there, come back and see whether it worked or not. So our first option was here. It went here, took a right. Too bad I didn't fix the camera properly, but yeah, here's the first position. It goes here, goes here and then goes all the way here to the third position. Sorry, that's the wrong way. So uh, here, here, out of the screen, goes here and then takes a right straight into point two. Point two takes a straight turn, goes there. That's point three, I believe. Point four, and it comes back and something, something. Anyways, so now it shows you that there is a path between our objects and our points and it gives us through the um, uh, mesh with the holes inside it calculated now we can add uh, more stuff but we're gonna do that next episode uh, for now we got the basic nav mesh set up and unfortunately I did not find any way to make a nav mesh from inside Unigen but making your own in blender is not really that uh, hard at all. As you have seen, all I did was just have a plane and then, uh, oops, and then shift A, mesh, a cube, and then just moved it around, scaled it up, and as it was intersecting, we could just um, give it a Boolean modifier, choose this guy, and then when we actually mute the cube, it has a hole inside our object so not too bad not too bad at all I'm not gonna say this don't need it and now we have our mesh all right so that's the beginning of nav mesh the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add uh, some kind of obstacles here and there it will check it will do the calculations and it's gonna update so until then I will see you guys next time goodbye